Hello, brothers and sisters. Welcome back to our Red Letter Study and the Book of Luke. And we're still in Luke to look at the words of Christ, his teachings. And we're going to find out that what he says here, he actually says also in Mark and Matthew. Except for one phrase, one verse, if you will. The last thing that he says is actually only found in Luke. Now, it's said at different moments in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, but all in, in a similar moment. Huh. In other words, it's always after a parable that Jesus says that. In this case, it's after Jesus has given this amazing and very famous parable of the four soils. Remember, well, when the soul goes out and he sp spreads the word, and, and some of it is eaten by the birds called Satan. Some of it have rocky ground and there's no roots. Nothing comes out. Another one, something is coming out but gets choked out, no fruit. And finally, only one is a good soil that bears fruit. Someone who's saved. Now, when the disciple asked him, why are you talking in parables? We don't get it. It was so confusing what you said. He explains to them, not only the parable, but also why he's speaking in parables. He said, because it's, it's supposed to be revealed to only a few. Only a few, through the help of the Spirit and God, will be illuminated and, and understand this great spiritual truth. But for others, they won't get it. It's about revealing life for some and not for all. In other words, many people read the Bible and they just see it as a book. But for some, like us, it is God's very mind and heart. So that's what he's getting at. That's the context in which we get these three little verses. First, no one after lighting a lamp, covers it with a jar, or puts it under a bed, but puts it under a stand, so that those who enter may see the light. In Matthew, in the Sermon on the Mount, he uses something very similar, but he's clearly talking about how we are the light. He even says it, you are the light. But in this context, he's talking about revealed truth, right? like the parables, revealing God's truth, the word of God, if you will. If you want a, a more concrete, modern example, it's like saying the Bible shouldn't be put on your bed. You should be reading it and sharing with others. That's the gist of what he's getting at. This light, in other words, is God's reveal truth, scripture, the Bible, and how it needs to be out there to be shared. The truth needs to be presented to people. Many will reject the light, but still, that is the light, the word of God. He's revealed truth. He then continues and says, For nothing is hidden that will not be made manifest, nor is anything secret that will not be known and come to light. It's not like in the future tense, but don't forget, the entirety of the canon or the whole of the Bible is not written yet, but it will very soon. He even talks about it in the uh, Upper Room Discourse. How the Spirit is going to come and give them all the rest that Jesus couldn't give them. And when we can think of the writings of Paul and Peter and James and Jude and, and all that. We can think of the book of the Revelation, the book of the end times, and then how this completes the fullness of God's revelation, which here is not yet given, but will. And so don't miss this idea when he says that um, the things that are hidden. Uh, things is hidden that will not be made manifest. Everything is meant to be revealed. God will give you all the truth you need. But we can say we it, it's been done. It has been given. We have the fullness of God's revelation. So don't miss this idea that there's nothing that's supposed to be secret. The light is supposed to be given. We have it. So anybody that shows up and says, I have new revelation. God gave me a, a download, a fresh message for you. A better way to do spiritual warfare. Or a greater way to deal with sin. No. It, there's no secret way. There's no special message that's given only to a few. God has given it all. He put it in the hands of all of his children. It's called the Bible. So Jesus is clearly preparing the way here, I say. I dare say he's preparing the way. For anybody who's going to come up later on and says, oh, I've had some secret message from God. Jesus says, no, there's nothing going to be secret. Everything's going to be revealed and going to be given to all my children, all my disciples, for all times afterwards. Nothing's meant to be secret. 
Nothing is meant to be given to only a few of the disciples. And if you come to them and you give them money, they'll tell you, no, 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 Jesus says. There's not going to be any kind of secret knowledge when you reveal to a few. No. These truth will be for all. A light is supposed to be shining clearly for everybody who comes to the source of the light. Again, the Word of God, the Bible, the Scripture, the finished canon. Very important. Very important because he then finishes it, and this is the verse when you find in Luke. Take care of them how you hear. For the one who has, more will be given. And for the one who has not, even what he thinks that he has will be taken away. This has nothing to do with stuff. Nothing to do about being blessed and having rich and having a family. No, this is all about the light, the revealed truth of God. He even says it, right? To hear how you hear. That's what we know. The light is this revealed word of God. Be careful how you hear it. Because those who have it, those who are plunging their eyes upon the word of God, that revealed truth, who want to know who God is through the word, more will be given to them. More you're saying, Lord, I want to understand through the word and what the Spirit will lead you through the exploration and show you great depth and riches found in the scripture. I've made that experience and I'm sure you have too. More you want to study the word and understand the word and more God helps you to do that. More will be given to you. But then there's a flip side. Because those who has not, right, those who, who don't really want the Bible and put it under their bed, those who take maybe a verse or two, a little passage or so, whipped out of context, and then put the Bible under the bed, they don't, they don't have that much. They don't have it at all or not that much. Well, guess what? Um, even what they think, even what he thinks that he has, I love that. Because you have so many think that they know spiritual truth. They have a verse, a phrase, a passage. I know. This is how spiritual warfare should be done because of this little verse over here. You think you have something. And Jesus says, even what they think they have will be taken away. Anyone who wants to get off this beaten path, this straight path, this word of God to go into other kind of exploration will be lost in the darkness. Eventually, they'll come to a point saying, I don't even know how to get back to the path now. That's what happens. When you chase after these secret truth and more you end up with nothing at all but emptiness. And there's so many testimonies of that of people who chased after these secret truth who ended up lost. But God is gracious and many have been brought back. Amen. But that's what you need is the light. The more you seek that truth in God's word and more he will give it to you. And more you try to get um, something else, the little bit that you do have could be lost. That's a strong warning. I mean, if you try to find secret stuff from teacher so-and-so, prophet so-and-so, apostle so-and-so, you could lose what you already have. That little bit of truth you had. No, 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 no. But then sisters, stay in the word, deeply rooted, exploring that great cave of wisdom to no end. And you'll never be disappointed. You'll always get more. On that note, brothers and sisters, be blessed.